So what is the unconscious mind? Well, there are many interpretations about what the unconscious mind is, but probably one of the easiest ones and the ones that one that I like to work with the most is that the unconscious mind is that part of us that we are not conscious of. All those automatic behaviours, the autopilot. You think about it, you eat food, we don't even think about how that is actually, you know, going down our esophagus and into our stomach, how it's being digested and all the rest of it. That just happens automatically. Now, processes like that, if they're working okay, are okay. We don't have to know about it. But if we're exhibiting behaviours that aren't serving us positively or aren't serving other people positively, it's about allowing ourselves to sit with it and bring into conscious awareness what it is that we're doing, for what purpose are we doing that, and then being able to make the changes so that, again, once we make the change and make that behaviour positive, we can relegate that back to the unconscious mind and, again, it becomes automatic. But we are running on autopilot all the time and it's just catching ourselves, you know, catching those thoughts, catching those behaviours, catching those actions that aren't serving us or, again, aren't serving other people and being able to become aware of those, pay attention to those so that then we can make those changes. Because ultimately, I mean, for me, I don't know whether it is for you, but ultimately for me it's about becoming the best version of me. So I want to become aware of all of those things. Some behaviours, absolutely, once they're running so well, relegate them back to the unconscious mind. We don't have to be aware of them because ultimately we can't be aware of everything.